Okay, I got uh, Batman Dark Knight Returns here. It's a brand new piece. I think it's, uh, we are starting delivering this piece very soon. And I would like to share some tips uh, and processes I, I usually use uh, working with uh, UVs. But uh, I want to give you uh, a look for the piece. This is the uh, decimated version. So you're going to see a little bit more uh, harsh textures and, and more, uh, let's say, more crisp, uh, because we usually uh, tend to um, sharp all the entire uh, structures and, 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 and details to get better results on the print. Uh, but this is basically how it looks in ZBrush. Uh, this is a huge piece. I think it's uh, 37, 38 uh, inches tall with lighting bulb. Entirely, he's thirty-eight inches tall. I, I think it is something like that's that. Massive, holy cow! I, I, that's a, yeah, that's that's iconic huge. scale right here, and yeah. we're getting a very, very go. sort of early look at this piece. I really wow. appreciate that, by the way, as well. Oh, wow, thank you, man. Yeah, it's a huge piece, and um, his face this is pretty much. And one thing I, uh, some questions I re usually receive, it is about the UVs and and how uh, how I usually uh, tweak the direction of the UV depending of the texture I want to apply. And I found uh, a way to do it. I, I don't know if, it, if it's the best. As you know, Seabridge uh, has many, many ways to do the same thing. Uh, so it's <coughs> a little bit up to us to uh, to find the best process and one cool thing it is, um, let's say for example, that we, in this case, I have a texture with not any particular pattern, I mean, any vertical lines or horizontal lines, uh, but let's say for example, that I would like to apply something like with vertical lines or horizontal lines, but it, in that case, I will have to uh, modify the orientation of the UVs. This is a very simple process, but if you have too many parts, let's, uh, let me uh, jump into another file. Yeah, this is a previous uh, step without the textures and without being decimated. So one of the, the first thing I do, it is to separate this uh, guy into multiple polygroups. Um, and this is a easy thing to do when you have seam lines. So uh, the UV maps is going to work uh, way better than if you have just the entire leg. Um, it's going to do a kind of not good things. Uh, but if you have a separated like in two parts like this or, or many, many parts like the body, uh, it's going to work pretty well. Um, one thing you have to take into account um, that it is that um, if you have a super high res meshes, it's going to take too much and sometimes could crash. Uh, so what you have to do is decrease your resolution. Maybe you can do is a zero measure and then some projection, um, and then start working with UV master. And, and this is the um, the next step. So. Let's say, for example, we have um, we have this this guy ready with the polygroups, and then you have to go to C plugin, a UV master, and then click on polygroups. So this option is going to uh, make a UVs uh, take into account all the polygroups uh, polygroups you have applied. Um, I don't want to click on it because it will take a few some 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 time, um, but I have prepared this guy here. So what Seabridge does, it is uh, it makes uh, it takes the, your lower resolution and then collapse all together in just one piece. And what you have here, it is if we want to check our UV islands, you have to go to C plugin, UV master, and then flatten. Ah, uh, good point. And uh, you're going to see all these UV islands, but it's randomly. Uh, apply to this UV section. So let's say, for example, that we have um, this texture, like I said before, like with vertical lines. Uh, in order to apply with the same alignment that you want, uh, in this moment, it's not going to work because it's going to look like 
something like this. Let me show you. We're going to apply a texture with a Surface Noise Maker. And as you can see, it's not following the uh, orientation of the legs or, or maybe, I don't know, the lats or even the torso. Uh, so one thing I, I usually do, it is to create some uh, poly paint, painting some arrows on it. And then that will help me to uh, visualize how it should be in the UV section. Let me, let me quickly do it. So I want to turn off the uh, noise maker. Okay. I want to uh, select uh, white color, then I will fill it up. Okay, cool. Now is like, I don't know, I don't know any other color with high contrast like red and start painting the direction. I know maybe it doesn't make any sense right now, but it will, it will do in a, a couple of minutes. Uh, oops. Sorry. So I draw this. That's, oops, the lats and the torso. I mean, you can do it without these arrows, but you you will have to memorize the colors of your polygroups and the, the, the forms of these UV islands. And sometimes it's hard to see it because, I mean, yeah, maybe the torso, it is recognizable, but I don't know if you're going to recognize the bicep or the tricep when it's open, right? So do this, this, something like that. Here and then over here, and that's it. So, if I go and click on flatter again, uh, then do that because Seabridge is going to apply a, like a a, a fill a color filler again, and you are going to lose this uh, arrow you just draw. So, what you have to do it is go to the texture section, texture, texture map, and click on New from Poly Paint. So now you have all the UV, UV islands with these arrows on it. Mm -hmm. And then you can go to the C plugin, then flatter. And now you can control click, drag on it and out, and then select each one. Great tip. What a, what a great, great tip. tip. That's incredible yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm uh, high fiving Paul on this one. Yeah. That's We're the stuff. Uh, Good tip yeah. over here, Danny. Hey, oh, bell. Ring the bell. That's the champ right there. What a joy. <laughs> uh, th th this saved me a lot of time, yeah. you yeah, know, because all the, all the otherwise I have to are. guess. Yeah. Yeah, I, ha I have to guess and, and, and you know, it's, uh, when you have a, a more complicate, uh, complicated um, parts in, in your body or more body groups, I don't know, you just... We'll be wasting time. If you don't Look how easy that is. Oh, Good boy. One. What a straight joy. The, the hits continue here. Yeah, it's good. And then... So you just rotate this. them all, and then when you throw that texture on, they're all yep. going the direction you exactly. want. Exactly. So now you have... You, if your texture is vertical, you have... Yep. You, then you, you have press uh, on, on flutter. And then, of course, this, this is so going to look that, weird. So yep. off. And then you go to Surface Noise Maker. Uh -huh. And then you can see. There you go. Perfecto. Turn off. Perfecto. Just like and that. Come on. Just like that. And it is going to save you a lot of time, believe me. Yeah, that's awesome. Believe Somewhere me. people are smiling. That's awesome, Virtually. Danny. That was, that's an oh, amazing thing. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I Thanks hope people find it useful as, they, yeah. as they do. Yeah, the chat was enjoying it. I really appreciate that. We got it. Cool, gonna, man. We're going to continue moving on and move into Martin too. So stay tuned, though. Yep. Yeah. But don't tune out. Don't tune you, out. Stay Danny, locked for in. Thank you, sharing that tip with us. Let's. Cuckoo. Yep.